Hello footy fans, let's dive straight in and kick off the excitement and keep the ball rolling on the beautiful game and all things football. Manchester City is under scrutiny for allegedly breaching financial regulations with accusations of over 100 rule violations. The Premier League has charged them, leading to an upcoming independent panel trial scheduled for late autumn next year. If found guilty, severe penalties may follow. The verdict is expected in the summer of 2025, potentially impacting City's pursuit of a fourth consecutive Premier League title. The charges span over a decade, starting from the 2009-10 season. Despite denials of wrongdoing, uncertainties surround City's future. Manager Pep Guardiola's contract expiration aligns with the verdict, raising questions about potential consequences for him and the club's title aspirations. Everton is at risk of a second points deduction this season after already losing 10 points for financial rule breaches. New regulations require any breach of profit and sustainability rules to be addressed by the end of the current season. If Everton's financial accounts for 2022-23 reveal a similar financial violation, they might face another points deduction. The club's potential losses of over £105 million over three seasons raise concerns. This additional punishment could significantly impact Everton's league standing and their fight against relegation. Contract talks with manager Sean Dyke have been delayed amid the club's uncertainty, emphasising the severity of the situation. Manchester United's manager Eric Ten Hag is under scrutiny in his second season, facing a string of poor results. Max Allegri is reportedly interested in a move to the Premier League and could be a potential replacement for Ten Hag. Despite a successful debut season, United's recent struggles, including the risk of Champions League elimination, have raised questions about Ten Hag's future. Allegri, known for his flair, may leave Juventus, making him an available option. The completion of a minority takeover by Sir Jim Ratcliffe could further impact managerial decisions at United. Changes are already occurring, with Richard Arnold stepping down as CEO. Allegri's experience and unique approach make him an intriguing prospect for the managerial position. Thierry Henry praised Gabriel Jesus for his outstanding performance in Arsenal's 6-0 victory over RC Lens. Henry highlighted Jesus' crucial role, particularly emphasizing a goal where Jesus demonstrated exceptional skill and composure. According to Henry, Jesus is a vital player for Arsenal, contributing significantly to the team's success. The Brazilian striker not only scored a goal but also received the Player of the Match award. This victory secured Arsenal's place in the knockout rounds of the Champions League. The team's overall performance, including standout moments from players like Declan Rice, has generated excitement among Arsenal fans, who express optimism about the team's chances for major honours this season. Paul Scholes criticised Bruno Fernandes for his post-match interview after Manchester United's 3-all draw with Galatasaray. Scholes was unhappy with Fernandes' comments blaming teammates for mistakes, highlighting that Fernandes himself made two significant errors leading to goals. Scholes emphasised the need for collective responsibility, including the captain, and expressed concern about the team's defensive issues. Despite the draw, United can still secure the second spot in Group A if they beat Bayern Munich and the Galatasaray vs FC Copenhagen match ends in a draw. Tottenham is reportedly considering acquiring winger Samuel Eiling Jr. from Juventus during the winter transfer window. Juventus is open to selling Eiling Jr. to raise funds for a new midfielder, and Tottenham, facing squad depth issues, is at the forefront of potential buyers. Born in Islington and previously part of Chelsea's youth setup, Eiling Jr., now 20, has spent three years in Serie A, making 18 appearances for Juventus last season. While Juventus initially quoted £17.3 million, they are now willing to accept as little as £15.5 million for the versatile winger. Eiling Jr. can play on either flank or through the middle, offering valuable flexibility for Tottenham, which has struggled with injuries and fallen to fifth place in the Premier League after a strong start to the season. Bukayo Saka expressed his displeasure at being substituted early in Arsenal's 6-0 Champions League win over Lens. Despite scoring the third goal, he wanted to play the full 90 minutes. 
Saka's previous injury and fatigue concerns have sparked debates about Arteta's handling of the player. Arteta praised Saka's mentality and acknowledged the challenge of maintaining success. Whether Arteta will continue to rest Saka remains uncertain.